My name is Andrew Stangley. I am a videographer for the University of Illinois, and I live in Urbana. The Pencil Lens program is put on by the local filmmaking and design communities here in Champaign-Urbana. Uh, the main concept of it is that we take submissions for scripts from children, uh, ages kindergarten up to high school, and local filmmakers turn them into movies. Class, as you may have heard on the news, creatures have been disappearing lately. Horrors is about a group of children trying to find the source of some disappearances in their community. But the twist is that the children are a vampire, a Frankenstein's monster, and a werewolf. And the cause of the disappearances is a human. <coughs> and so th this one pulls a lot from the old Universal Monster movies. I'd also been wanting to do a movie with puppets for a while, and this seemed like a great opportunity to use puppets instead of actual on-set actors. Okay, boys, we got what we need. Move out. That was quite a girl. Yep. I saw her first. The problem with recording all the dialogue ahead of time and having the puppeteers lip sync to it, essentially, is uh, getting the timing right between each person talking. When the person who's puppeteering is performing the lines at the same time, it works just fine. They can act off of each other. But if you're lip syncing, the when the next line starts is hard to get the timing exactly right. So the, the current plan that I have is to have a timeline of color-coded audio clips that it will be playing off of a computer so the, the actors playing the, playing the puppets can see a playhead move across and when it gets to the clip they know that's when they need to lip sync their next line. I think there are nine puppets, maybe ten puppets. The main process for making the puppets is just figuring out what are the key features that you want on each one and then figuring out how to hide the fact that you don't know what you're doing. Thank you.